Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a Yankee Candle haul. I've gotten in a few times the last couple of weeks for their semi-annual sale, and I think I'm kind of mostly done at Yankee, um, just because I'm more into Bath and Body Works. But I had enough of a haul that I figured I would go ahead and show you. So I'm gonna start with my large jars because I do have four of them, and then I'm gonna get into my tarts. So I actually went today to purchase my large jars. I got four for 48, and then I had a 15% off coupon. The very first one that I got is a returning favorite, and it is Pineapple Paradise. I love pineapple fragrances. I have been longing to get a golden pineapple luau from Bath and Body Works from like their semi-annual sale, but I feel like it's kind of been like there and gone from the website and I can never keep up with it. So I'm really glad that I got one of these just in case I'm not able to snag a pineapple candle from Bath and Body Works um, during the sale or during their sale. I think that's a gorgeous picture and I actually don't burn um, candles in my apartment. If you follow my channel, then you know that. And the reason why I don't is because it's in my lease that I'm not allowed to burn candles. Um, so I actually have a candle crock that I put those in and Yankees can be a little bit light in them, but you can still definitely smell them. So I think that they perform better in a crock than they do lit. So that's why even though I can be kind of skeptical of Yankees, I'll still kind of go out on a limb and try them because I know that I'm going to melt them rather than burn them. The next one that I picked up is another returning favorite. This is Christmas at the Beach. And I love this again because it's a great kind of like tropical coconut fruity type of fragrance. And also, if you know me, you know that I don't like winter. Like once New Year's is done, I'm very ready for the like fruit and floral kind of spring summer scents. Like I'm very ready for those at this point. So that's why I decided to pick up a couple of those. And also I bought two that are like in their fresh, I guess, collection of how they categorize them. I have never seen this one before. I don't know if this is like a European exclusive or like whatever, or whatever they do for their sales when they bring these ones out. But yeah, this one is Greenhouse. I've never seen this before and I've also never heard of it. But I'm so glad that I went and checked it out because this is, amazing my boyfriend will hate this like absolutely hate it so i have to melt this when he's out of town but oh this is so good you have to love grassy fragrances to love greenhouse but this just smells like i mean like grass i mean it kind of smells also like dandelions but oh it, i love that kind of thing it reminds me of spring and summer great i love it so that is greenhouse and then the very last one that I picked up from a large jar is one that I have been eyeing the last year or so during their semi-annual sales, but just have never like, I don't know, made a commitment to buy it. And this is Fresh Mint. And again, green is my favorite color. I love the green kind of marbling here. And yeah, a great picture too. I wish that Yankee would return to these large pictures. I think they're just nicer to look at. Um, but yeah, I love Fresh Mint too. My grandfather, or my dad's dad, um, he grew mint in his garden and oh, I just love the smell of mint. It smells very authentic to what a real mint plant smells like and I love it. It just makes me think of that. I have a lot of great memories of being in his garden like back in the day, like in the 90s. So yeah, this is a great, a great fragrance and it just kind of brings me back to that place. All right, so those are my large jars that I bought. I also purchased several um, tarts because I'm a teacher, I have wax warmer in my classroom, and I take my tarts to school and I melt them. So the very first one that I picked up is actually one that will stay in my apartment. It is not going to school with me. It is the Sunset Fields. I always like um, sunflower fragrances. I think the best one that Yankee does, they no longer carry it, is just sunflower, like straight up sunflower. That's my favorite one that they've done, but this one is fine too. This one, however, is just too heavy. It's just cologne -y, and I don't think that will really sit well with my kids at school. So I am actually going to be melting this at home and not in my classroom. I also picked up three tarts in Vineyard. My kids really liked this one. To my surprise, I didn't think that they would um, because it's not just like 
sweet grape. Like it smells more like wine-ish, but they're really into it. So I told them that I would pick up a few during winter break. I also picked up three of another favorite of theirs. It's the Berylicious, very kid-friendly, very like dark berries and a little bit of, you know, some kind of like foodie, cakey, bakery type fragrance. They really like that one. I decided to experiment a little bit. I got two Sicilian lemons, which I think were new from last year. I have never purchased this one before and I'm kind of picky about lemon fragrances, but I thought this one was pretty nice. So I'm excited to take that to school and see what my kids think of it. And their favorite, by the way, <clears throat> excuse me, their favorite is this one. It is the Cafe Al Fresco. So I bought four of them. All four of these are going to go into my classroom. I teach eighth grade this year, so they're kind of at that point where they think that if you drink coffee, then you're cool. Like, you know, that kind of age. So they love this Cafe Al Fresco one. So I told them also, just like the Berrylicious, that during winter break, I would pick up more because they're always asking me to melt it, like <laughs> all the time. I also went out on a limb and I have had the chocolate layer cake before, but I have found in my experience of teaching and melting wax in my classroom that when it comes to chocolate, it's extremely divisive. And so I, I don't mind the chocolate layer cake, but I only picked up one because I am going to melt it in my classroom. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what the kids think of it, but I did pick up one because it was there. I picked up one Cherries on Snow. It smells a little bit artificial to me, but it's very kid friendly. So I figured that it'd be a good one to pick up for my kiddos. And then finally, the very last one that I picked up is three. And these are in Sun Drenched, Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. So I really like this fragrance. I think that if you don't like florals, it can be kind of headachey, but I personally really enjoy it. So I decided to pick up three for my classroom and if my kids decide that they don't like it then I can just bring the other two home whatever it doesn't matter so that is it for my Yankee haul today I also got this kind of like I don't know if you call it a bounce back coupon or what in my bag so it says 2019 scent of the year and it says you can experience it first on January 22nd and then let's see I have just kind of this is kind of a promotional for like their new spring stuff that's coming out. And then on the back side, I have a coupon for save 10 off 30. That's good from January 22nd to February 7th. And also a 50% off a personalized candle. I don't personalize candles. I don't like get into that at Yankee, but there is a coupon for that in this flyer too, if you are interested in that. So that's what I've got for my Yankee haul. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at yellowbrickexpat, same way it's spelled here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.